coach Jennifer Rockwood of Jen BYU can bring soccer. it. Like, mm-hmm. absolutely. You can just have a, any third guess, right? <laughs> no. You I love that you said young woman. Thank you very much. You are Appreciate that. You are Appreciate that. Well, you know, I mean, you have great. I saw the 20. I saw the 20 you slipped. <laughs> and, <laughs> and you have great taste in cars too, Jim. Uh, so yeah, that's huh? true. true. There you go. There I like go. I like I like cars, that's for sure. <laughs> I'd have more if I could. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. Hey, what a fun offseason uh, for you watching some of your stars get drafted into the league and yeah. not, not just that, but like number 2 and number 11 overall with yeah. Ashley Hatch and Michelle Vasconcelos. What's that been like? It was you? it was a special day. I mean, uh, to be out there in LA with Ashley Murphy was still in Brazil with her husband uh, for Christmas and couldn't make it back, but to go into the draft, it, I mean, they they've just made it so professional. They do the MLS draft the next day. And uh, to just to be there with all the fans and all the coaches and all the new teams and to hear Ashley's name called out, big screen, her walking up uh, and talking at the podium. I mean, that was really special, obviously special for her, uh, but special for our program. And then in the second round, number one pick, there's Murphy, you know, Michelle Vasconcelos. And just so excited for those guys. Ashley's headed to North Carolina and Murphy's headed to Chicago. So big changes for them uh, ahead and just so thrilled for them. And it gives us more games to watch during the summer. Yes, so that's absolutely. Lifetime great. Network has an yeah. I know, I know. On TV. Yes, yeah. yes. I didn't know Lifetime mm-hmm. was doing the game, so that's uh, <laughs> news to me. Yesterday, I watched by, walked by Southfield, and there's a lot of uh, construction and renovations yeah. going on. Yeah, doesn't look to, the same, does yeah, it? Yeah, there's no grass <laughs> there, which can be an issue mm-hmm. uh, with soccer, but... Yeah, what, what are the plans for Southfield, and when will they be done? Yeah, we're really fortunate that we have a, a chance here that they're investing in a new field for us. Um, you know, that was an old field, a field that I played on. I was here a long time ago, 1985, <laughs> as a freshman. That's yeah. where we practiced. It was an intramural field, and they used to flood it to irrigate it, and it's 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 had its day. <laughs> um, and, and it was struggling these last few years, and so, you know, we're fortunate, like I said, to, to have them invest in, in a brand-new surface for us, and we're really excited about that. It should be ready hopefully the 1st of June, but I'm sure it'll be ready for our season when we start up in August. Fantastic. I want to get the extra sod. Uh, from my backyard. <laughs> yeah, so I do too. I don't know where it went. It's, it's <laughs> gone. Let me know the extra gone. day. The day <laughs> Jared wants Southfield, the old field, to live yeah. on oh, in his yeah. backyard. I have yeah. Southfield in my backyard. <laughs> <laughs> you just announced a new signing class. Yes. And I thought it was really cool to see the signing class picture of 2013 sent out with Ashley Hatch involved. And mm-hmm. It's like, wow, that – that wasn't that long ago. I know I did that. I was so excited. I I found that shot of that freshman class. Uh, the you know that weekend that the, all the freshmen come before school, and we had all of our freshmen go out there so they could meet the the soccer team. And I found that picture, and I'm like, wow, to see them come in as freshmen and see what they've done, yeah. and how exciting it is that the same thing's going to happen. This is an amazing group of young women coming to play for us this fall. It's a bigger class. We've only had four come in the last couple years. This is a group of seven, um, and it's really going to propel us into the future you have some more BYU family ties Mike Empey football coach his daughter Savannah mm-hmm. is going to play for BYU Davin Gwynn's sister we call Davin Gwynn now he's now <laughs> Gwynn Sanity Gwyn yeah so that I will like extend that. over to soccer as yeah. well four and a uh, half a game the last two <laughs> yeah his uh his sister uh Josie this is mm-hmm. this is it's fun to have more BYU ties involved uh it is and you know it's always a small world it seems and there's lots of ties out there uh Michaela Coulihan is Chloe's cousin you know, so those are three pretty significant ties right there. Um, so, yeah, just looking forward to it. You know, our girls are back in the offseason right now training. Uh, I haven't been this excited about an offseason in a long time. Uh, although we graduated some great players, we have an amazing group of players returning, and I think we're going to be really solid in the fall. Hey, how about that? You lose the number two and 11 picks, yeah. and you're like, yeah, I'm super excited yeah. about what and we Coach bring back. We do. Super excited, yeah. yeah. And she's not a liar, so that's no. great. Yeah. No, <laughs> I've got some young players that are ready to go, bust well, through. Uh, Chris Watt. Watkins, longtime assistant coach, is at Gonzaga. Brent Anderson came over from mm-hmm. Utah Valley. What kind of addition will he make to the staff? Oh. No pressure, he's in studio. Yeah, I, I guess I better say good things about him, right? <laughs> no, I mean, you know, we're excited for Chris. He's been with us for 21 years and helped us all build this program, and, and we're excited for him to go take a new head coaching job at Gonzaga. He'll do a great job, and we need him to build Gonzaga because they're a conference opponent, and we want them to be great. Um, but, yeah, bringing Brent in, you know, just thrilled that he was willing to, you know, give up a, a head coaching job at UVU, a program that he's built for the last 11 years and has done an amazing job um, to come in and be such a, a solid part of our, our program you know to have him and Alicia you know really step up I mean it's you know I, I don't know what more I could ask for well he shouldn't get too comfortable behind the camera because we're going to sneak him into that seat at some point yeah absolutely he'll, I know he'll, he can hear me he'll Brent. do a great job he'll do a great job he's a good guy coach it's great to get the update congratulations on the new field and uh, all let me the know success. about that thought.